After a store clerk has made the inventory list, a manager orders the supplies. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we will look at a role-based distribution. The ability to specify at design time one or more roles to which the instances of this task will be distributed at runtime. Roles serve as a means of grouping resources with similar characteristics. Where an instance of a task is distributed in this way, it is distributed to all resources that are members of the roles associated with the task. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. So here the situation is as follows. We have store clerks and managers. These are roles and for each role we have two users here in the example. So Sean and Alicia are store clerks and Tina and Grant are managers. So when we start the animation now, um, we have the first work item is offered to a store clerk. And now we see that the work items make inventory list are offered to this role and you can see that the work item is in each of the user's work list here and so let's suppose Alicia takes it so she accepts this and now it's allocated to her and you can also see that at the same time it is not visible anymore to Sean and then she starts executing it and completes the work item and then the next task is ready order supplies and so the work item for order supplies is now offered to both managers and now uh, let's say Tina accepts it now it's allocated Grant cannot see it anymore and then she starts executing it and then she completes the work item. In YAWL we can implement this by system offer to roles as you can see here in the screenshot of the YAWL editor. So here we have the animation on the top left we have the YAWL administrator on the top right hand side and at the bottom we have Sean, Alicia and Tina and Grant will not be involved this time and we now start a case for this workflow specification case ID 2 and we will now look at the admin work list and we can see that this is offered to two participants and if we go to the bottom and we refresh the work lists here we can see that Sean and Alicia have the work item make inventory list in their work list it is in status offered so if we do this in the animation we have exactly the same thing so make inventory list are here and now suppose that Alicia is accepting it so we can accept it here and if we refresh the work list of Sean here we can now see that it is empty the other one is empty as well and now she starts executing it looks at the form completes the form and then we go on to the next task, order supplies, and the work item is now offered to the manager role. And the only user we now have here with the manager role with the window open is Tina. And we can see that Tina has this offered. If we look at the admin work list, we can see that it has been offered to Grant and Tina. And now she accepts it. It goes away from the work list of Grant. She starts executing it, completes it, and then we're done. Thank you for watching.